I was gonna wait to start the video, but then I was like, I've kind of stopped of doing intros, and so I'm like, I'm just gonna start it. It's like a sunny day, like why the heck not? So I'm starting the video. I would go into talking, but I'm literally about to order, so that's why I haven't. But as soon as I take my order, I had things I wanted to say, and I was kind of rehearsing them to say them after, but I have a long wait at Starbucks, so I was like, why not just chat? And I would do it right now, but I literally have my window down, and I'm waiting to hear from Starbucks. I want to do that TikTok challenge where it's like the dun 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 choo. If y'all go on TikTok, you'd understand what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I just posted a new TikTok, so go check it out, and I'm going to get this video uploaded today, so, because I have nothing else better to do. Welcome to Starbucks. I take your order as soon as you're ready. Hi, a tall mango dragon fruit lemonade. Okay. And that's everything. Perfect. We'll see you down here for three ninety five. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Guys, it's three ninety five. That's not a bad price at all for mango dragon fruit. Alright, I'm gonna roll up the window and chat. We have still some cars up ahead. Oh yeah, I'm at the Starbucks where there's this really cute guy. Black back I can't talk. back in vlogmas day 13 i'll leave the link to that video i had a story time with this guy and oh my gosh i'm like of course i'm here on a day that is working just my luck but actually guys i don't think he remembers me and i'm so happy because there was one other time after i got back into town that i came to starbucks and he always every single time always compliments my steering wheel I don't think he's working drive through but, but I would totally be able to point it out. And my mask. This is my self-love mask. I got it at Rue 21. He'll always compliment. He'll be like, I'll be wearing this. And he'll be like, oh my gosh, like your mask and your steering wheel match. Well, it was on a day too where like I was wearing a pink coat on top of it. So he was like, oh, you're all matching. But he's told me that like before. And so I think he just forgets about me. I love it. <laughs> Cause it's so cringe. I used to have pink seats. Yeah, I never really talked about why I don't have them anymore, but I still have the steering wheel. I wanna really like get my car, like scrub clean, get this car pretty for summer. I wanna take road trips in it this summer in Oregon. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to guys, but I love like Cannon Beach and I wanna get the car on the freeway. I don't like to drive on the freeway. Also, that's kinda why I'm filming right now. I get anxiety like really easily being alone and like talking to you it makes me feel like I'm talking to someone who Whoever's listening and so that's why I'm chatting right now just about random stuff I guess I also don't know how long Starbucks is it's good I don't know how long Starbucks is gonna take for me to get into what I gotta say I mean it's just like a chill video but still anyways I guess just point of the matter is like yeah cuz I'm at a Starbucks where there's like freeway entrance I realized I haven't even been to the mall this year. Actually, to be honest, the real reason why is because I have way too many clothes. I need to go through clothes. So yeah, I need to like go through my closet. I need to clean this car. Basically, with the seats, what I was gonna say was that they both got worn out and old and kind of stained. They were like a light pink. So I was like, I just need to get rid of them. And as soon as I get like new seats, if I want new seats, I don't know what I want yet. And I kind of like the seats right now, so. But I definitely want to get new seats. Well. As soon as I start having people in my car again, I probably would want seat covers. I feel bad for my guy friends because they're probably going to be girly seats. Maybe, ooh, maybe I can try to find seats that are like neutral. I like that. So I'm going to try because I'm open to whatever. I do love pink. Blue is my favorite color, but guys, I've been like loving wearing pink, honestly. And that's probably why I still have the steering wheel. Unless if I find something better to match it, then eventually I'll throw it out too. Because yeah, the seats and the steering wheel are just old out with the old in with the new it's 2021 now yeah and i still have a new car and have barely taken anybody in it <laughs> except for like family i've done like family little trips in this car but that's been it like this car has been to the zoo with like my stepdad my mom peanut and myself my dad and i will be in this car my mom and i will be in this car to run errands or to go places grocery store one time I surprised a friend at the airport. Put some Mel's vlogs, you should check it out. And my mom came with me to that. I drove the way there, my mom helped drive the way back. I was really nervous. We luckily took like a back way because I'm still like kind of nervous to drive on the freeway. I wish I could film like cooler content for you guys because honestly, like I'm close to going to Washington so I want to film like Washington vlogs but I'm too scared to go alone and I have like no friends. So I don't know, I have to make plans with people that like want to go. Well, recently I posted like on my social media being like, I want to go on road trips either by myself or with friends and I've had a couple friends reach out. So I'm like, 
we'll see i just don't know where to go or like what to do and i'm also so shy and like antisocial and awkward and so i don't know i'm just like nervous about it i want to do more like cool oregon washington trips i want to do like a vlog that's like kind of an Oregon touristy vlog because if you guys aren't from Oregon, it's a really pretty state and I want to give like recommendations of like where all you should go, but I don't get out enough to go. I don't know. If you're from Oregon watching this, I guess it would be like, but still like I'm from Oregon and there's plenty of places I've not been to. <laughs> For real, there's so many well-known talked places that I'm like, wait, what? This is here? <laughs> so yeah, like it'd be a cool video for myself as well and for you if you haven't been certain places or if you live in a different state. I know I have family that watch my channel and don't live in Oregon, so that could be good to know. Oh my gosh, it's almost my turn. And then I'm gonna park and just chat with you guys. I'm kind of just stalling time until I get up there. Please not the guy because that would be so awkward. Yay, I get my Starbucks today. I was gonna get my usual vanilla latte, but with it being so sunny, whenever it's like really, really sunny like this, I'm always in the mood for mango dragon fruit lemonade because you can't go wrong. And also with COVID and quarantine, I've still been like really much careful because if I'm being fully honest, I traveled a lot last year. And, and again, I saw family and friends that were comfortable with it, but as soon as I got home, like I quarantined because I wasn't feeling too well. All right, it's my turn. He's in there. Oh my god. He's gonna see me. Hold on a second, guys. It's really busy in the area I'm in, so I gotta park. Alright, I'm gonna save some gas, so I'm gonna turn off my car and chat with y'all for a bit before I end the video. We still have a little bit of time, so don't worry. I'm just chilling. I guess this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video, yeah, because we're just chatting. This is so good. Oh my gosh, I just started drinking it. I'm so thirsty, guys. I had to wait for a long time, so bear with me. I know, my outfit's kind of crazy. I didn't try hard today. <laughs> I could have my hair down if I want to, but I really don't want to. I think whenever it's sunny, I always have my hair up. Honestly, when I'm always chilling like this and talking to you guys and doing videos, I always just end up having my hair up. Well, not always true, but that's just like how I am when I'm like chilling. And this is just a chill out, like, you know, grab coffee, tea, refresher, and just drink and chat because if we were friends, that's what we'd be doing. I'm an introvert, but I still need like social interaction and this is kind of it right now. <laughs> this is what I like to do with friends. I like to go get coffee and like talk. I don't like to do all these big crazy things. Well, I mean, when I was a kid, I was social, but it was more of like social in a group, not like so many groups, but like a core one group. I'm really not that cool. No, I'm cool. I'm not trying to beat myself up. I'm just not like super outgoing. I am once you get to know me, I'm just like really shy. Like I'm so awkward when you'll first meet me if you ever do if you're watching this or maybe you already know me then we're talking yeah we're just talking because i don't know who i'll watch this channel so if it's someone i don't know or someone i do know this is us chatting so embarrassing i thought there was a cute guy here and i was gonna like make conversation with him i'm like why not and then i realized he was like a little too old and i was like man i was like that's so embarrassing but i couldn't tell from like a mile because i was debating if i was gonna go in starbucks or go for drive through but with how busy it is <laughs> i decided to go for drive through but it's so nice out today it is a little bit more busier and i know we're still in a pandemic but i will say like we're all wearing our masks and we're all staying safe and i'm so antisocial, not talking to anyone anyways but it's kind of nice seeing people again and seeing people doing well and businesses doing well okay i know like what i was gonna get into now i want this video to kind of just be chill i already did like a get to know me it's more like a talk with me sit down video you know because i'll be real i was gonna upload a story time because i thought i was ready to share it it's almost been two years since i had that experience but then i realized i wasn't ready i edited the crap out of it i got it down to like 14 minutes in 25 seconds well and i still actually needed more editing to do to touch it up and then i'd watch it back and be like i just gotta edit it more in general because it's a story time where i wanted to be careful of certain details but then i just kind of got down on myself being like kind of sad on it because it was a good memory with a guy but then we didn't work out and i started like crying in my bedroom and realized i wasn't ready to share it and so i deleted it from editing on my iMovie i guess i share this because like if you're genuinely not ready to share something then you have the right to wait you know and share it like when you want to and so i had that realization and i have several other story times that i'm in the same boat they've been pre-recorded some actually were from last year but i'm just not ready yet it's hard to open up on the channel that's what i was going to talk about it's really truly hard to open up on the channel i don't know how famous youtubers like actually do it because i guess for me like i'm a people pleaser and i never want to do anything wrong 
wrong or say anything wrong sometimes i watch my videos back being like but it was like how i felt in the moment like when i was talking you know and so i just realized that i'm gonna just upload what i want to upload right now as soon as i get some help with editing on the channel i want to have my future editor help with the story times with me it's really hard to watch some of the story times back i realize i just want to post like what i want to post right now i finally got caught up with all the videos i wanted to get uploaded it's just like the long story times that are hard to edit hard to watch back right now that's what i'm going to decide to do and that's why i'm filming this video i just like i'm posting it just because i feel bad it's not really like a cool kind of video like i want to do videos like i love alicia marie and i either want to dress like her for the week or live her lifestyle for the week but she's like bougie but also really comfortable so they're like videos i'm trying to think everything through before i do it literally my favorite duos are nikki and gabby and alicia and remy so but i'm just waiting and then originally i wanted to do a fashion video of what to wear in college but i'm doing online school right now for college so i don't know i don't know so we'll just see but we're just gonna roll with it this is something in my heart i wanted to do today all right y'all i'm currently filming a youtube video right now just like chatting about life but this video is going to go out first on TikTok, a little sneak peek. Basically, I got these chips yesterday from a neighbor. Really surprised. I'm really not that social or I haven't been in a long time. And it was just like random. The guy didn't need the chips anymore. They're not opened. And I was like, sure, why not? But I'm allergic to peanuts. And so the first thing I did was check the ingredients later on in that day. I didn't want to do it like right in the moment in front of the guy. But anyways, I checked the ingredients and guys, it's made in a facility that does not process peanuts or tree nuts. And I'm thinking, this guy doesn't even know me and he gave me something that I don't even have to worry about with my allergy. There's like good people out there. Ah, can't wait to try them. <laughs> All right, everyone, I am back. I just got done filming my TikTok. I just uploaded it. And so hopefully some of y'all came from TikTok. But yeah, at my dad's place, we got like these new neighbors and they're like really new and really friendly. I'm kind of like shy and antisocial. So I'm like, do I have to talk? Do I have to say hi? They've been friendly, so I've been trying to be nice and like a good neighbor. So I'd be talkative. The neighbor basically had like um, a family member either is living with them or visiting. I didn't really pay attention. I was trying to get inside my dad's place. Like I said, I'm pretty like shy and awkward. But the neighbor had a guy that's like a relative of his, but I'm not sure if he was staying for a bit or visiting or I don't know. Anyways, this relative looked like around my age, but I'm not really sure. Kind of cute, but honestly not my type and not for me. But he was like going through his car, so like random, and he was just throwing out stuff. And since I was talking to the new neighbor that definitely does live there, his family member was like, do you want these chips? And I looked at them and I was like, you know what? Sure, why not? They're not open. And I'll read the ingredients later. Why not? You know, it's not like every day you get chips from like a neighbor. I thought it'd be a funny story to share someday, like right now, or to like my future kids be like, yeah, a neighbor gave me chips one time. I'm kidding. I don't even know if I want kids, guys. I don't know. I'm 22. It's not like focus on my life. I have to have like a boyfriend first, and I don't even know who I want as a boyfriend to be my husband and then father to kids, and so I just. I'm living a single life right now. I don't got it together. Back to the story. That's why I'm not into that guy that gave me the tips. So I was like, yeah, I'll take them. And I was like, thank you. And I'm going to try them now and see like how they taste. I'm really excited. They look really good. I am really picky. I don't know. Oh, I almost forgot to say is that, as y'all know, I do have a peanut allergy and I read the ingredients later that night. And guess what guys? It's made in a facility that does not process peanuts or tree nuts. The guy doesn't even know like I'm allergic, but I just thought it was so cool that <laughs> I was given something that I don't have to worry about my allergies. So I thought it was really sweet. And I feel like I was kind of a little bit of a flirt at the end to that guy that gave me the chips. Well, after I said bye to the neighbor, I was all like, thanks for the chips <laughs> to his relative. <sighs> and he was like kind of realizing, oh wait, she's talking to me still. And he was like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> so cringe. <laughs> all right, we're gonna try this. Mmm, they basically taste like a healthier version of popcorn with salt. I really like, they're a good craving. All right, y'all, I have a lot of editing. Ah. All right, y'all, I have a lot of editing to do and I wanna get this video out today. So 
I'm gonna end that video there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love posting more real content on the channel for you guys to get to know me better. I hope you guys enjoy it too. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe if you like me and wanna see more of my videos. Turn on that post notification bell because I do upload very consistently. I love you all so much. Please stay safe out there. The world's slowly, hopefully getting back to normal, but we'll just see. I always like to be hopeful and positive, so. Okay, I love you guys, bye. Mwah.